The day has come. The fated day. What do I mean by the fated day? Well, if you're watching this video when it goes up, it should be September 6th. Which means this is the day I'm actually going on vacation. If you're watching this video right now, I am not at home. This is the day where I hopped on a plane in the morning and flew over to the UK. And I'm gonna spend like a week with my friends. And uh, yeah. It also, coincidentally, happens to be my birthday today. Which is weird for me to say because I'm recording this a week in advance. But, you know, when this video goes up, it's my birthday. <laughs> so, thank you, thank you. Thank you for all the happy birthday wishes. I appreciate it. It's very kind of you. Thank you very much. Thank you for the death threats. I appreciate it. <laughs> thank you for calling me an old man. Yes, let's get all that out of the way, right? I appreciate it. I'm, I'm looking forward to it, man. It's gonna be a fun trip. It's gonna, it's gonna be a fun, a fun UK trip. Uh, hanging out with a, with a bud in London for a couple of days and then taking the train up to Birmingham to visit I-71, the gaming convention where all the cool people are and all the cool stuff happens or something. I don't know, there's gonna be a TF2 tournament, but that's not really the main reason I'm going there. It's just because everybody else seems to be going there and to be honest, I was already considering not going either, but it's, it's just that like travel is expensive, you know? Like... I'll be transparent. This whole trip, even if it's less than a week, is costing me like over 500 bucks, which is actually cheap compared to what other people are paying to travel to the UK, right? The UK is expensive, but traveling there, especially if you're from further abroad, shit is expensive, man. I, I don't envy, envy anybody who has to go through the um, trouble of, you know, paying out the ass to travel all that way. Like, I'm paying 500 for the entire thing, right? Plane tickets, hotel costs, all that stuff. And that's like, doesn't even include like, any other money I'll have to spend there for, like, food, <laughs> you know? To just stay alive, have basic metabolism still working. But it is, it is quite something. Yo, okay, what the heck? Well, they take a toothpick here. I mean, I could have re-rolled that if I had charges. But toothpicks is just worth taking, honestly. Like, I'll be honest, right? That secret room pool has some highs. It has quite the, quite the banger items occasionally. Your, you know, death certificates, your glitched crowns, your rock bottoms, your sacred orbs, but it also has a bunch of doo-doo. <laughs> like, no joke, toothpicks is probably better than the average secret room item. Not better than the best ones, but definitely better than the average one you're more likely to get than anything else. Because realistically, I would have re-rolled it and it would have turned into, uh, fucking keeper skin. And then I would have been like, well, that's an alright item, but Toothpicks is definitely better, so there you go. Also, that's another incredible item. Do I see it possible? Do I foresee a future in the 14 billion different realities where I somehow scrounge together 14 cents in this floor so I can buy <laughs> the school bag? I don't think that's possible. Um, okay, never say never, there is a sack room, but like, blow up this guy, hope for a nickel. Okay, that's a terrible start. <laughs> if he had given me one, I maybe would have gone for the sack room. The fact that he didn't even give me, like, a nickel, I... Like, this is not worth- it's not worth doing. It's, it's not worth doing. I would rather just, uh, leave. I don't even have a key to go this way, man. That's life. I haven't done a basement too in ages. <laughs> First time for everything. <laughs> what the hell is this for? I've never seen a basement too? What the fuck? An item room. Well, well, well. Uh, my key well spent, perhaps? Uh, a pill? Speed down. Great news. I mean, the run's been going fine so far. I don't know why I'm like sandbagging. It's it's going completely fine. Just because I didn't get a banger item straight off the bat on what is effectively my birthday. Like, I gotta pretend for today, even though it's a week before it is actually my birthday. I gotta pretend that it's my birthday today, right? Because that's what this run is. When this run is going up, so. I would like a good birthday run, okay? Is, this, is that too much to ask for, game? Maybe. Maybe it is. You just gave me what I wanted. I wouldn't be complaining though. Yeah, like I was just gonna maybe use my charge on the item room, but like, look, man, I'm like at the crossroads right now, where like I should have probably used. Like now it's too late, but I should have used my charge on the item room because I probably would have gotten another charge on this floor. But I was thinking like, there's no way this floor is big enough that I can get another charge going. And here I am now, fucking regretting my decision, being like I should have definitely rerolled the item room again because I would have totally gotten another charge. Life is so rough, man. Life is so hard. There's so many things going on all the time. You're always doubting your decisions. You know what? I made the right choice. Rerolling the item room would have just given me... Metronome. I wouldn't have wanted it anyway. Well, there go my deal chances. Look, I didn't want the deal this floor anyway. You gotta always look at it with the Sigma grind set, okay? This was all part of the plan. I'm using it to escape the Matrix. The Matrix wants you to have a Devil Deal. I decided I don't want to have the Devil Deal. I'm above that. I don't need that. 
Plus, it's not like I got a call of curtains right now. Okay, well, I didn't get a deal, but like it could have happened. Well, I guess I'm gonna go re-roll the item room. <laughs> Don't worry, this will turn into like C-section. Look, G GP bug is fine. He's, he's actually kind of useful. Let's try and actually get a deal this floor, shall we? Missing out on your first deal, first opportunity. Sucks, but you know, it happens. It, it can happen. There's, there's rough there's rough stuff out there. Lack of bombs, also kind of annoying. Oh, well, thank you. It's like the game heard me complain. Oh, my item room. Too bad I don't have a fucking key for it. Is there a secret room down here? I just had a few. Okay, well, fine. Worth checking, I guess. Okay, would you mind giving me a key? All right, don't don't feel pressured. Don't feel pressured to do something you don't want to do, but like, please give me a key, I beg of you. I will literally become back my money if you don't give me a key. Judgment card is also cool. I'm just setting up for the greatest play you've ever seen. I got a judgment card ready. I got re-rolls ready. All I need is a bomb to find my secret room with. Uh, or keys to enter any sort of special room at all, by the way. Would be cool as well. Nothing will be able to stop me. Let's fight the boss for now. I got a charge ready. It should be a pretty easy affair. Range and a luck up. Do I check it out? I have a charge. Ooh, Eye of the Occult is very tempting. Is it worth losing deal chances for? Nah, not really. Roll me. Okay, well. This is supposed to be my birthday run. Where is... This is the worst birthday ever, man. You know what the most fucked up thing about this birthday is? I've, I've been dreading it for a while now, but I've like, it's just like entered my mind just now. I will officially leave the 18 to 24 age bracket. I'm entering the 25 to 34 age bracket. Oh no, man. That's how you know you're getting old. You're getting knocked up into a different age bracket, man. Fuck that, bro. That sucks. I, that's something I wouldn't wish upon anybody. 25 is like, you, you're like a full, you're not, like 18 and 24, you're still, you know, lobbed in with young adults. You're not like, people don't expect as much of you yet. 25 to 34, man, like the people at the tail end of that age bracket, they're having like kids, they're, they're married, you know, they're like functioning adults in society. Fuck, man. <laughs> Fuck, man. Okay, so here's a gamble I gotta make. Do I think, no, but do I think that the secret room is in between my shop and item room and do I waste my bombs hoping it's there and then enter my item room and maybe also shop? I kind of think I gotta. It's kind of like my only option because the game refuses to give me keys. It is indeed here. Okay, I got a key so I can actually save a bomb. Perfect. I can use one bomb to go in here. Uh, grab myself, honestly, mystery sack. Good thing I did that. Good thing I pivoted, because I, I hate pop. I can... Let's check the shop, and then probably re-roll the knife piece. Ooh, broken modem. Let's go. I'm exaggerating, by the way, when I say getting, you know, stocked up into the next age bracket is terrifying. I don't care. <laughs> it doesn't... It doesn't matter to me. Like, should I have accomplished more in my life at this point about to turn 25 years old. Probably, yes. There are people my age who are far more successful, have done greater things, have achieved academic success, they have well-paying jobs or good careers or anything like that, yes. But comparison and comparing yourself to others is the one thing that will always fuck you up mentally uh, without fail. If you compare yourself to anybody, you're always gonna find something to be mad about. No person in the world is content with where they are in life. Everybody, well, not everybody, but most people have some form of ambitions that they strive towards in life, right? And a lot of these goals are way too lofty. They are dreams, they are ambitions, but at the end of the day, how much are they realistically gonna be fulfilled? Well, that's, a, that's a completely different story. Probably not all that well. And as soon as you just don't get that fulfilled, or you see somebody who is more successful or lives your dream, you're always gonna feel a little inadequate. That being said, if you just try not to compare yourself to others, and live with, well, the fact that you might not, like, not everybody is set up for the same successes. Also, I need to stop getting hit so much. What the fuck? Uh, then your life immediately becomes better when you realize everybody just goes at their own pace. Just because you aren't a millionaire by age 22 doesn't mean you failed in life, right? I, I don't need that right now to be happy in life. I, uh, there's, there's plenty, this, this is a cope. You call it a cope, whatever. There's plenty of successful people that were successful in history that didn't do anything until their fucking 30s. That didn't find their calling until then, right? So I'm not too worried about taking longer to achieve stuff that maybe other people, my peers, have achieved at a younger age or anything like that. There's plenty of people like me out there. Plenty of people that have the same 
mm, well, not even problems, but, you know, the same outlook on life, or at the very least, they're in the same stages. <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not fussed with it. I'm having a fucking mental breakdown here, dude. There isn't even a soul art for sale. <laughs> God damn it, man. I'm never getting this angel deal, bro. I mean, to be fair, it wasn't likely to begin with on this floor. Fuck it. Let's send it. Pile. Eh, it could be worse. Could have been, could have been clutch. Am I glad for broken mode? I'm just kind of locking this guy in place every once in a while. Whoa, brother. Watch out for those spikes, man. What are you trying to do with those bad boys? God, I'm doing so little damage, though. Like, my tier rate is great, but my damage up. Please, I need some damage ups. Any sort of damage increase will go huge here. This HP, brother, that's not damage. Uh, GB buck, please make yourself useful. I, I need a minute. It's supposed to be my birthday. What's going on? <laughs> What's this all about? At least I've got charges for days thanks to Sharp Plug. A planetarium? Okay, well maybe things are not that bad in this world after all. Maybe, maybe, uh, things are alright on this bitch of an earth. Maybe, maybe the world isn't all doom and gloom. <laughs> Please, I beg of you, let's go, it's a good one. It's one of the four, like, top tier planetarium items. And not one of the other, like, six mediocre ones. <laughs> and then the one terrible one, which is Jupiter. I am elated to have... Uranus. Oh, ho, ho, lead pencil. Yes, of course. Oh, cancer would have been good too. Things are really looking up on this bitch of an earth. I'll open this. Fuck it. Let's go. You gotta use the iframes when you can. Do you think this judgment will pay out in five cents? There's no shot, right? Zero percent chance. It's not particularly commonly known to happen. So I'll just save my time for now. Okay, we'll use the moon. I had a feeling it was here. Okay, well, 14 cents. Plus another five. Okay, fine. I I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it on this floor. Although, now I think about it, maybe I should do it next floor because I'll get more charges. Yeah, that seems like a lot more sense. Um okay, hold on. Hold on. Let me cook. Let me cook. Is there a charge for sale in the shop? Because 19 cents, getting the guy to pay out in 14 cents was buying charge. Feasible. There's no charge for sale. Okay, we're doing it on the next floor because I'll actually be able to get charges, thus making it a little bit more worthwhile. That being said, Please, 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 do not have a turret of the lost. I'm gonna kill myself. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, now to find my secret room. Okay, you know what? Matter of fact, I think it's right fucking here. Let's go. Oh, another item. I'm so glad I waited for this floor. All right, buddy. You better pay out quick. You better not be greedy. Lucky foot is just good, but come on. Mm hmm. Okay, that's fine. I got plenty of charges to be gathering on this floor. Plenty of charges waiting for me. Fire mind? Absolutely not. I'm not in for shenanigans today. Tough love is much more my liking. <laughs> oh, I mean, with one luck, to be fair, it's only like a 10% chance. Maybe a 20% with one luck, considering it's 100 at 9 or something like that. But still, you know, it's not that much. A shop as well. I mean, I do have money to spare, so I'll have a look at what's in here. Of course. <laughs> why would I? Why would I even uh, expect anything less from? From the game that's trying to slight me at every opportunity. At least I got a steam sale. So like, future shops are fine. And worst case, I always have sharp plug for more charges. That's true as well. I do have sharp plug available to me to do more of this. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Yeah, let's go. Okay, where the fuck is, where the fuck is Glitch Crown? There it is. Oh. <laughs> You thought you could hold me down. You thought you could stop me from greatness. Well, 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 look who's laughing now, huh? Now to just not mess up grabbing the items, which is gonna be the hardest part for me, because I suck at that part. Oh, I am terrible at the whole not messing up when grabbing items thing, but I think I'll manage. Well, 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 I've got a charge ready and there's a boss fight right here, huh? Would you look at that? I'm not likely to get a deal anyway. Who cares, man? There's still an item in my secret room. That's way more exciting, right? There's bound to be something good on this pedestal now. Wow, I'm actually surprised there isn't. <laughs> Color me surprised. This is where I gotta get cheeky. Also, I didn't take... No, I did take sharp luck. Why is the sharp luck indicator not showing up in the top left? Did that mod break? Did I disable it by accident? Yeah, I don't know. I didn't disable it. Weird. Weird. I don't know. It just doesn't seem to be working right now. I think I remembered I have it though, I guess. Uh, there's three HP upgrades in here. <laughs> and marbles. I actually need HP, believe it or not. Ah, fuck! Well, I guess I got range. Okay, let's go to town, shall we? Full charge me, boom. I can't really get another full charge. 
So, here's what I do. Try to take this, see what rune you get. Solar Lilith, cool. Use it twice, I guess. And, uh... Live with it! That's... This is as good as it gets, I guess. That's fine. We've got, we've got plenty of opportunities in the future. Thanks to Glitched Crown, as long as I'm dialed in and I don't mess up picking the items up in the order I want to pick them up in, everything's fine. What do you got for me? I think Mulligan is just worth taking, man. Could have taken Kidney Stone as well, but, you know, I don't think that was necessary. I hate that I now have to backtrack and find out where the fuck my shop is and shit like that. Like, it pisses me off. Yeah, I'm... Oh, man, I was like, am I taking Eden's Blessing? I have to, man. Like, whenever I see Eden's Blessing, I, it's like a must-take because I want to pay it forward for tomorrow's run. And maybe tomorrow's run is going to be great, you know? Because of it. Also, yeah, right, I can break the tear Cap. I was like, I'm going to hit the tear Cap with it, though, but apparently I forgot I had eye drops. All right, show me my damn shop, please. An arcade works, too. It can have items, technically. Be created in a way, maybe, perhaps, perchance? In a way? There's the shop. Okay, what do you got for me? Birth? Right. Well, I don't need that anymore. I have... I don't actually need Birthright because I literally just have a uh, better Birthright, aka Glitch Crown. <laughs> so, fuck it, roll me. And roll me again. I don't need much of this at all. I need PFFs, I guess. Hey, there you go. I should just take the battery, honestly. I think that's the best thing to have here, actually. There we go. Whatever, man. I've been everywhere. Who cares? I'm, I, I'm not gonna min-max this degree. I hate Curse of Lost. For a burning fucking passion. You think I can do mom without taking damage? That's possible. It's been done before. It's been known to be possible. Especially freezing all of her ads makes this a lot easier as well. The ads are the annoying part usually. All right, let's check my damn angel deal, buddy. Ooh. Well, here's the fun part. These can pay out with items. <laughs> okay, give me that ancient revelation, please. Okay, ancient revelation got huge. The other ones, uh, I should take the wafer probably. I'm probably better off taking the wafer. And then this, I'll reroll. Oh, yeah, that was a good idea. Yeah, I want Holy Light. I fucked up, but I got Duality. You know what? That's actually fine as well. I would have liked Holy Light. That's what I was shooting for, but getting Duality is actually totally fine as well. Because at least it ensures that if I get a deal next floor or the next couple of floors, I will actually also get another Angel Deal, which is perfect. That's exactly what I want, so yeah. What the fuck? I just looked outside and it's yellow outside. What the hell? It's like a weird, like, like it's like 8 p.m. So it's like kind of like a weird low sunset, but like also must be some like dust cloud or something. What the hell? <laughs> I just looked behind myself the window and it was looking yellow. It's like I'm in Mexico all of a sudden. Like they put me in fucking Breaking Bad, man. That's unexpected. <laughs> Speaking of, man, I still haven't... I, I never watched all of Breaking Bad. I've watched all of Better Call Saul with my friends. Because, you know, they were watching, I was like, I'll watch along. And they were also watching Breaking Bad before that, but I never really, like, got into that too much. I only watched, like, parts of it. Like, if you ever ask me about what parts of Breaking Bad I've seen, I've seen, like, let me think. I've seen two-thirds, like, the final two-thirds of the final season. I've seen, like, the latter half of season four. And then, like, occasional episodes for the first two seasons. I don't think I've seen anything of season three at all. But I could not tell you, honestly. I, I couldn't tell you what I've actually seen and what I haven't. I know how it ends! And I know, like, the prerequisites partially because I asked about them. And that's about it. I really gotta watch that someday, man. Because I love Better Call Saul. It was a great-ass show. It was really good. Arguably... I mean, I haven't watched all Breaking Bad, but arguably better. <laughs> Ancient Revelation and its consequences have been a tremendous asset for this run. Honestly, roll these. Wait a minute, I have Ancient Revelation. Dunscap could actually be kind of good. <laughs> Dunscap could actually be kind of good. That being said, I could also just take Purity here, which I will. <laughs> oh, yeah, speed up's actually kind of useful. Thank you. As much as I think Dunscap with homing is good, you know, I'm not that zany right now. This run is doing fine without it. <laughs> okay, let's fight the boss, man. There's not much on these floors anyway. Give me my Angel Deal, please. Well, Eucharist ensures I get another one next floor, so I can reroll the key piece here. That's fun, right? So let's do that. Boom. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. That's why we do it. That's why we do it, man. That's why we do what we do, man, for the love of the game. Uh, do I have any spun pieces at all? I have one. That's probably worth taking, then. I don't want shot speed, though. My shot speed's already high enough to give me... I don't know I, I don't know what I was taking, honestly. Watch this. I'm gonna do, like, the greatest play known to man. First of all, let's let Polaroid play this a little bit more. Turn all that shit into HP and go to town again. Oh, boy! Was that worth it or was that worth it? It sure was. Now I just gotta make sure I actually grab... Uh, 2020. 
there you go. Apple would have been cool, but you know, my luck is not that crazy and I already have tough love, which is not even proccing either. So yeah, this is fine. Oh my goodness, this run improved tremendously. A world card that gives me a crawl space. That's cool, I guess. You got anything cool? An item I can't access and an item I can access. And the one I can access happens to be mucomycosis. Why, thank you very much. No point in re-rolling that one, considering I'll just get upset. <laughs> I'll just get upset. There's nothing on that pedestal I desperately want right now anyway, so I think it's for the better if I just ignore it. You know what? Fuck, I'll play this guy. What are we dealing with? God knows. I'll play the next one as well. Now, ceremonial robes. That looks a lot more interesting to me. It's damage at the end of the day. Ah, yeah, screw it. I'll take Robo Baby. There you go. Getting me one step closer to Conjoined. I do have BFFs as well, so he's actually gonna be kind of good. Okay, well, I can play the other beggar now. <laughs> uh, apparently, that rainbow poop was just waiting for me there. Cool. So, time for you to pay out with an item as well, buddy. Thank you. Oh my goodness gracious. Let's go. No downside, thanks to 2020. <laughs> I love Glitch Crown. It makes every run go off eventually. You just generate pedestals and you win. Oh, it's so good. This is the birthday run I was envisioning, man. This is what I was hoping for. I'm glad I finally got it. There you are, mom's heart. You think you can hide from me? You think you are safe at all? Not even the size. Oh, yeah, Sacred Orb and Godhead? What the heck? I mean, at this point, I should take Sacred Orb, right? Just ensure that I never have to worry about item quality for the rest of the run as well. Give me my other key piece. Thank you very much. All right, and we go up today. I guess I chose to go up. You know what? Here's a, <clears throat> a semi-joking. It's, it's, it is a joke, but it's a semi-joking, you know, Christianity-related question again. I assume that, like, by old Christian law, whatever it says in the Bible or whatever, only men are allowed to hold high positions in the church, right? Only men are about to be allowed to be priests, bishops, whatever, right? Uh, like, I think the only somewhat church role that women have are nuns, as far as I'm aware, which are effectively the same as monks, right? They, they just kind of, like, they work in the church environment, maybe, but that's pretty much all they do. Maybe, like, okay. But, like, what I'm trying to get at, basically, when do you think there's gonna be a woke pope, which is fun to say, by the way, that's gonna <laughs> try to <laughs> create equality in, like, the church and allow, like, women to become, like, Catholic priests and, like, run cathedrals or shit like that? You think that's ever gonna become a thing? You think we're ever gonna get there? Because I think it'd be pretty funny. I feel like the quote-unquote backlash, right? Some, like, heartland Christians will be, like, fucking seething at the idea to have a woman be able to host a sermon or whatever. Again, I don't really know to what extent what positions they can have or can't have, because I'm pretty sure I've been to churches where there was a woman reading out the shit from the Bible or whatever, but, you know, what do I know? I'm just... I'm literally, literally an infidel. I do not know what I'm talking about whatsoever. Anyway, we've got some good stuff here, man. I would love that technology. <laughs> Thank you all. The other pedestals? Uh, well, I probably want the explosion immunity, just for the sake of it, right? If I now get something explosive as well, I can... Literally get infinite charges, so why wouldn't I? This is a pedestal, though. Do I have two syringes? No. Okay, roll this then. That seems exciting. <laughs> I mean, I know it's gonna do insane damage if I take Lacry, so why wouldn't I? Like, yeah, the lasers are gonna be cut short, but they're still gonna home in anyway, and the damage that these Lacry tiers are gonna do is... Yeah. God, what a run. <laughs> what a run we've got upon our hands here. I don't know, all I'm saying is I think it'd be very funny. What do... Okay, what if we got, like, a female Pope? I'm not saying it's ever gonna happen, but maybe over time there's gonna be, like, reforms to the church, you know, it can always happen, and then... Like, all it takes is for the Pope to just be like, oh yeah, God told me that women are now allowed. Like, isn't the Pope supposed to be, like, God's representative for the Catholic Church, right? Like, he's the, the guy, the dude that, like, through which God communicates with his believers or whatever in a way i don't know that's how that's how much i at least understood of like the catholic church and not even from like religious education but literally just from history right i just paid like attention a little bit during those history lessons and that's kind of what i gathered that like kind of what the pope does i still find the concept of like um the, you know the ancient monarchy so fucking funny like being the the leader of like a a place went from you're just the strongest in the tribe or whatever it went from that to uh, God has literally chosen me to rule this place, and if you disagree, I'm gonna have you, like, murdered. Which is really funny. Well, I mean, I should take the D-Infinity here, right? It's just an upgrade, and then, uh, obviously we use the Soul of Eden. Okay, well, there's a tractor beam, there's a fucking... Uh, holy mantle? I, there's a lot of stuff on here that I just want- I kind of want to see what tractor beam is like, man. It just creates extra tears. Okay, that's 
definitely fine. <laughs> That's fine by me. So yeah, if the Pope felt like it, he could just be like, yeah, fuck this, man. Women run this place now. I'm gonna... I'm gonna fucking get married, you know? Isn't, isn't that like a thing as well, like, Pope's not allowed to get married? Or like, pretty much any religious figure is not allowed to have some sort of relation? Is it... is that just Christianity? Or matter of fact, is that just the Catholic Church? Or is that like other religions as well, like, in Islam? Or... I guess, I mean, what, what do they even call them? Imams? Are they... are they allowed to have a family? Are they allowed to have wives and kids? It's like the whole celibacy thing only really a thing for Catholic priests. Kind of kind of weird huh? how much like religions differ and are still the same at the end of the day. Because there's one thing every religion agrees on, it's that you shouldn't kill people unless they don't agree with your religion. <laughs> at least historically. <laughs> you know, yeah, crusades uh, and all that, for instance. And you know what? I'm going to get hit again because I want to get a different fucking purity aura. You're not giving me range. Fuck you. I don't want speed either. That's more like it. Plus six and a half damage is uh, that's more my speed. I can I can live with that. All right, there you go. Satan time. I feel like this is going to annihilate. Yep, it's about as quick as I imagined because my god, Lacrophage is a silly item. <laughs> it's all Lacry, man. Like this run would have still shredded anyway, but Lacry is the money maker here, man. Lacry is what's doing like the insane damage because for some reason the tears. Even if they're just like waiting, they're not they didn't burst yet. They have an insane damage multiplier on them. Like look at that. What is that damage, bro? And the run is over. Alright, thanks for the happy birthday wishes. Or something. I don't know. I'll see you again tomorrow for, for YouTube. Uh, I'll see you again in like a week when I'm actually back home. <laughs> Which is so weird for me to say because I'm still at home right now. And wow man, time is crazy. Uh subscribe. See ya.